gentlemen, can we have everybody move into place, please? We'd like to begin shortly. Over the past several years, you have worked and studied, practiced and played, and on occasion slacked off. I have heard Holly, Jody, Norma, Leslie, and Jenny express their relief in TAG that soon they will be free of school routine and could put aside books and papers, projects and reports. Perhaps this is as it should be. After great effort, there is need for a rest provided it's not a permanent one. Your class is full of success stories. One story in particular involves a very distinguished member, Jason Schultz. Jason was in my consumer education class for about 25 years, <laughs> or so it seemed. When he was in grade nine and a half, and we were knee deep in the law unit discussing the legal definition of an infant, as you all know, in BC, an infant is an individual under the age of 19. Jason, after class, asked me a question. He said, Mr. Monobetti, do infants have as much fun in infancy as adults do in adultery? <laughs> Jason has come a long way since then. Seriously, though, I have come to know you and respect you. You have gotten an excellent preparation for the school of life and I have every confidence that you will achieve whatever you set out to do. I would ask all the faculty and staff, as well as family and friends of the graduates, to stand and toast the class of 81. Class of 89.
to leave all his deeds affectionately you know. We leave him a referee's handbook on foul language and fair play, and a ball in the stain remover for his already bloodied Ikea shirt during his lunchtime interventions. <laughs> to Doug Polatsky, to Gilligan, our little buddy, we leave him a coffee mug, a clean coffee mug, and one extra large paper clip to hold his already glowing late slip collection. Throughout the years, the teachers have given us knowledge and understanding, and now Cliff Weichel. To the loudest guy in the library, we leave exactly what he gave us. To Roger McKay. <laughs> to Rog, we leave a voucher for four new Goodyear tires, because when Cam let me drive the Mustang last week and I roasted him off on Road Street Bridge. I just, just wanted to tell you that now. <laughs> to Bobby Bull. To Robert. We leave Mr. Monty Betty's handbook of early morning greetings and gestures. Good evening. Okay. To Ernie Kamei, to Sprout, we leave an electronic motion detector so we can keep track of his construction students wherever they are. To Don Wallace, well, Mr. Wallace, the only guy who can never get a word in edgewise. Uh, I'd like to leave him a lifetime supply of gum and uh, a book on how to chew it on matters. <laughs> and to my two most favorite science teachers, uh, two that they weren't present tonight, but uh, anyway, to Ian Gibson, I leave a one-way Greyhound ticket for our geography trip that we missed. And I like time to fly a Valium, because uh, it's the most stressed out geography teacher I've ever met in my life. <laughs> and to Gary Sutherland, another good guy, I like to leave him. Just a message, y'all, for you to pick up a letter uh, from the school board office concerning your conduct in class. And also, the grade eights, I'd like to leave you the loving and caring staff tonight of uh, SOSS test for the torturing years to come for you. Thank you. A little different. So it's just going to take us a second or two to, to set up. Um, what I'd like everybody to do, if you're kind of facing that way, if you can turn your... Okay. I'd like to introduce Mr. Roger McKay on my left. To all our guests, Mr. McKay is Vice Principal at SOSS. And the grad class requested that he and I give the last will of testament to the class this year. Well, let me begin by thanking the class for this opportunity. But I think that by the time we get finished, you may be sorry that you selected us. If you think that I'm warning you possible upcoming embarrassments and humiliations, you're right. No one will be physically hurt, and as long as you have a good sense of humor, you should survive okay emotionally. It's customary at these proceedings that when we are bequeathing something to a graduate, that he or she stand. So. Gabe Garcia, Gabe, stand up. Gabe, complete this phrase nice and loud so everybody can hear. And I didn't prep him on the answer to this, incidentally. One picture is worth a thousand. Smart go ahead. <laughs> this way tall student. Sit down, dude. As the class girl knows, uh, Mr. McKay and I are men of few words. And so we thought we'd save the class thousands of words this year by showing you some pictures. Pictures of you. <laughs> We're going to take you on a photo history of your school years and watch your development from kindergarten to middle elementary school to late elementary school, through your high school years. In fact, we're going to go back even before your school years to the beginning. Here you are, just a few days ago. 
writing your final exams. These were the final moments in the long 13 years from kindergarten to grade 12. For some, it was even longer, as Mr. Ronald Betty said. But let's go back to the very beginning. All right, grads, who is this? I'll give you a clue. He arrived at SOSS in grade 10. He's one of our resident sun dancers. Stand up, Al Porter. <laughs> Al has been a very pleasant addition to SOSS. Al. Do you remember your extra long appendage at the dress up day in grade 10? I do. To you, Al, we leave you your own fantasies about being larger than life. Sit down, Al. Here's another little chubby chicken. The thought in this guy's mind is, feed me or I'll eat my foot. <laughs> Mark Rossetti, stand up. <laughs> this is Mark. Mark, I leave you a copy of the book entitled, Stay Slim and Trim, written by Fiona Simmons. <laughs> stand up, Peter Busink. There he is. Peter's always been a happy, smiling young man. To prove this to you, let me take you back to the year 1971. <laughs> witness, witness the rubber bumper his parents bought him in, the, in anticipation of his first motorcycle crash. Peter, we leave you with your brother Paul's grade 8 athletic award. <laughs> this next grad ran in the Oliver Beauty pageant a number of years ago. In fact, it was the Miss Nude Oliver pageant for 1971. And here's your winner, Holly Rothheiser. <laughs> Stand up, Holly. Holly, I leave you the How to Dress Tastefully Manual, written by Lisa Zoni. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we, we would now like to move into the next stage of our grass lives, the toddler preschool stage. <laughs> 